I'm here in Napa Valley, better known as wine country, where there's plenty of vines and sunshine, a perfect place to cash in on solar power. And we're going to meet one vineyard that won't be giving up any land space to do so. So what's the secret to making a great bottle of wine? Plenty of sunshine. California grape growing has been taking advantage of uh, California sunshine for a long time. Sunshine that winemaker Greg Allen is now taking advantage of in more ways than one, using it to power the Farniente winery. Not a new idea on its own, but this sure is. Now, how many solar panels do you have? Well, approximately uh, 2,296. <laughs> Just approximately. <laughs> I like that. You're right on. <laughs> it's the first ever photovoltaic system where panels are mounted onto pontoons resting on the irrigation pond. Now every vineyard needs an irrigation pond anyway, right? Yep, every, every vineyard needs an irrigation pond for its irrigation water and its frost protection system. And, and in our particular case, the irrigation pond is also used to collect the winery wastewater for uh, reuse for irrigation. The rest of the system sits on land. As for how much this all costs, seven million bucks. It isn't cheap to be first. What would be your average electricity bill a month? Uh, annually, it's over $100,000. And now? And now, at the end of the year, it'll be zero. It'll still take over a decade to pay off the entire system. How much electricity would you say these panels are generating? Altogether, they're generating 477 kilowatts, which is a significant amount of electricity. Enough to power the whole vineyard, right? The whole vineyard and all of the auxiliary facilities. Kim Auberson is with SBG Solar, who designed this new method. They're very lightweight. I mean, I can lift up one of these panels, no problem. I can hold one with one hand. So there's no problem with them sinking? No, no. These are very robust pontoons. They're not only efficient, they help the environment, too. Now, will this help the irrigation pond also? It will because it'll reduce evaporation in the pond and it's also going to reduce the growth of algae. Now I see there are still ducks around, but mm -hmm. how does this affect the wildlife? So far, everybody seems to be pretty happy. We've got frogs and ducks and birds. The habitat hasn't really changed very much. I don't see any negative environmental impacts from this at all. So in the long run, this looks pretty bright. For the long run, this looks absolutely fantastic. And right now, the system is, is uh, exceeding our expectations for performance. Hey, now it's not just the grapes soaking up the sun. I mean, the most magical thing is that it's working. It's the first of its kind. We overcame some significant hurdles. We just feel, as a company, we've done a wonderful thing. <laughs>